Right now on Eyewitness News, talk of a sales tax hike. And if this happens, it would affect every single family in our state. And it scares a lot of people, I think. However, some say it could actually be a positive change. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live right now. And Matthew, you are making sense of all of this for us tonight. Hi there. Hey, Mark and Denise, you know, the last thing people want to hear is tax increase, but lawmakers say that if this were to pass, more than 60 towns would see some money coming back from that, and that could drive down the mill rate. My life is busy because I'm taking care of somebody else, and then I go home and take care of myself and my household. Like many across the state, 21-year-old personal care assistant Casey Ware feels like she pays enough in taxes. Here, it's difficult to manage money and also have what you want. But if a proposal to increase the state sales tax to 6.85% passes, she'd pay an extra 50 cents on every hundred dollars. Sometimes just to avoid taxes in Connecticut on clothes and stuff like that, I will go to Massachusetts. Senator John von Farah represents Weathersfield and says this move would raise an additional $340 million a year and that money would be funneled into specific towns to combat rising mill rates. Every single day, people decide where they're going to live, if their children can be receive an adequate education, if there are enough amenities in the town. Here's a map made by the Federal Reserve Bank in Boston, showing the amount towns raise in taxes compared to what they need. The towns in the darkest red, like Hartford, New Britain, and Meriden, would benefit the most because they need the most. The next shade of red would get extra money, too, and those towns include Rocky Hill, West Hartford, and Weathersfield. We're talking about a number of other towns that are trending in the direction of being unable to meet their basic functions. The towns in white, like Lyme, Old Lyme, Old Saybrook, and many on the Gold Coast would be paying for it. Every single thing that they buy in the store is going to cost them more money. And then at the end of the day, they don't see the benefits of that. If this is what it takes to move Connecticut forward, I can support it. But for those who are just entering the workforce, at the end of the day, a tax hike is a tax hike. I'm sure there's money other places. Now, this proposal still has a long way to go. Governor Lamont has not weighed in on it. Republicans, though, they're against it. That's the latest live here at the LOB. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.